Speaking of this race, it's sponsored by JB Transmission. Specializing in foreign and domestic repairs, trust JB for all your performance needs. Check us out at www.jbtransmission.com or visit us at 256 St. Mary's Road in Winnipeg. Inside row five, the four for rent is Rod Greening. He is sponsored by Montana's Cookhouse. And on the outside, the 20 is Greg Hoare. Row number six is the three for rent of Dan Dakway on the inside and Gary Gowdy Sr. on the outside. Inside row seven, Ethan Friesen is in the three. And in the 37 car, this is Roger Wajoli. And rounding out the field in the 12, Gary Gowdy Jr. We are ready to go racing here in the Pure Stocks. We have 15 laps up on the board. And we're gonna turn them loose here. Rob Como has the green flag in hand. And here we go, Pure Stock Racing for Montana's Cookhouse. Lots of action on the back straightaway, but we've got a yellow flag. I don't know if that's still from the tire roll on the back straightaway or if that's off a car, but well, it's stopped now. It's off the number three, you're right. Car number three missing a left rear tire, so I guess we got another one for next week's tire roll race, perfect. Now you know how we get them. So 15 laps, no laps in, so we will have a complete restart after we remove the three from the racetrack. Tammy Gooley, $290. Congratulations, Tammy. Complete restart. All right, so complete restart. The number three is on the hook, as you can see. We will remove the number three from the racetrack. That is Ethan Friesen on the hook and get ready to go racing next time around. Three great reasons to start your week off at Montana's. Half price wing when Mondays, kids eat free Tuesdays and all you can eat ribs on Wednesdays. Something for everybody. See you at the cookhouse. All right, complete restart. 15 on the Pepsi board for Montana's cookhouse. Our first feature of the evening right now on the racetrack. We are getting set to go. We are green, here we go. Three wide in turn number one and two, wow. Les McRae, the Santana Kennels number nine in the lead, 
He is followed by the 1K of Kevin Delane. Pellers in third, Proctor fourth, Rob the Rat Delane in fifth. One more yellow flag. Yellow flag is on the speedway. All right, we are going to yet another complete restart here. We're gonna try to find out exactly what the verdict here is. All right, we understand the two rent got into the 16 on that complete restart and slowed everybody up, so we are gonna call it a complete restart here. I believe we need a race receiver check with some of the drivers. Of course, these drivers are equipped with what they call a race receiver. It is a listening device. Our competition director, Dale McEwen, can talk to the drivers during the race. The drivers cannot talk back fortunately. However, what it's used for is in the instances of lineups when they're relining the races like you see now or as a safety feature. Sometimes the drivers will not see the yellow flag but they can hear it in their ear that there is an incident let's say in turn three or turn one or whatever and that gets the drivers off the pedal a little quicker and makes things a little safer. So that is what's known as the race receiver, and we've been in use with that device here for probably five or six years, maybe more. All right, 15 on the Pepsi board. The Santana Kennels, Archangel Fireworks, Standard Central number nine, also sponsored by Johnny McCray. Chucking is going to, well, he should be starting in the third spot but we have lost some cars so we'll see how they line them up our competition director Dale McEwen working on that right now now you'll notice the clock on the flag stand I think it reads 8 7.59 well they get one minute per lap. So 15 lap race gets 15 minutes of time. Now, you notice we have not completed even one lap yet. So let's say this continues until the clock reads zero. And then we get another yellow flag after that. The drivers lose all their laps except two. So we go to a green, white, checkered situation. So we're over halfway through on the clock and we do not have a single lap left. Now. If we went green to checkered right now, obviously it wouldn't take seven minutes and some seconds, so they would get all of their 15 laps, but it's when that clock reaches zero and another flag, yellow flag flies, that the drivers lose their laps. Green flag is out, we are racing. Well, Les McRae out to the early lead with the 1K of Kevin Delane right there. Good battle between Kyle Pellers and the 33 of Rob the Rat Delane. Pellers is on the bottom and now challenging Proctor for third. Kevin Delane in the Westbrook 1K was all over the nine of McRae, but not so much anymore. Rod the Rat, the lane in the 33 has moved to fourth. He's trying to get around Proctor for third.
Pellers and Proctor battling. That's a great race in four. So far, it has been the Archangel Fireworks number nine of McRae. Total domination so far. Second is a pair of, or rather second is Kevin Delane. Third is Rod the Rat Delane. So a pair of Delanes in second and third. Nine laps to go. McRae continues his assault on the competition. Rod the Rat Delane, however, in the 33 car might be closing the gap. He is closing the gap. Rod the Rat Delane on the inside of the nine car in turn number three. Wow, what a great race. New leader, Rod the Rat Delane. Second spot is now McRae. Third is Kevin Delane. Fourth, Kyle Pellers. Fifth is Proctor. In sixth is the 12 car. That's Gary Gowdy Jr. Gary Gowdy Jr. on the inside. Gowdy is out of Stoughton, Saskatchewan. While your race leader is getting in lap traffic now, Rod the Rat Delane coming out of turn four with five laps to go. We're Two thirds done this race, now four to go. Clock is down to two minutes, but we have not had another yellow flag. So these guys doing a great job now of getting this race done. Rod Durant the lane trying to split some lap cars. And gets through. Rod the Rat Delane, a multi-year racing veteran. Raced back here even in the 70s at Red River Co-op Speedway. So it tells you how long he's been around. Three to go. Rod the Rat Delane with an almost straightaway lead now on his nearest competition. Pell Ayers getting sideways in front of Kevin Delane who goes on by. There's lots of action in turn number two. Rod the Rat Delane takes a white flag and gets by the rental car. Rod the Rat Delane, your race leader, doing a great job up front. He adds another trophy. How about it for Rod the Rat Delane? Second spot to Santana Kennels, nine of Les McRae. Then it is Pellairs in the 23. That is your top three 
in the pure stock division, but Rod the Rat Delane, wow, what a great job getting to the front. He started in the eighth starting position and ended up first. Les McRae ended up second, he started fifth. But a long drive through traffic, and lap traffic in fact, for the 33R of Rod the Rat Delane, who comes up on the pizza pizza scale. Next up will be the Northern Lightning Sprints. Well, Rod the Rat the Lane taking the sweetest lap in motorsports. That is the victory lap. After a great drive from eighth place in that older Camaro, he has made that thing work for many, many years and made it work again tonight right here at Red River Co-op Speedway. He will be your winner for Montana's Cookhouse in the Pure Stock Division. Three features left tonight, of course. We have the Northern Lightning Sprints. We also have the four-cylinder stocks. And of course, Midwest Modifieds as Rod the Rat Delane pulls his Winnipeg engine and transmission number 33 into victory lane. He has done this many times. Of course, Red River Co-op Speedway is celebrating its 40th anniversary in 2013. And this guy right here in victory lane has been a big part of racing here from its very inception. The Delane family, of course, doing a great job. I think we've got three or four of them throughout the pit area tonight in various classes. So real racing family and they do a nice job and very, very gentlemanly drivers. There's no question about that. There he is, Rod the Rat Delane, your winner tonight in the Pure Stock Division. Well, we were just talking about Red River Co-op Speedway's 40th anniversary, Rod. What year did you start racing here? The year it opened up. Isn't that something, eh? You're still loving it, obviously. I know it's a lot of work and a lot of money, but you're still doing it. Oh yeah, still having fun. You can only, you're only young once. Well, that number nine, that Mustang, a new car for 2013, it looked like he was gonna get away from you, but you never let up. No, he, he beat me the one time, and that's all he can give those sports. You can't give him too many breaks. <laughs> there you go, is there anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, I want to uh, thank uh, Mike for giving me a hand on the pits and uh, my wife Isabel and everybody is helping me out in Winnipeg Engine, still using their engines and going strong. All right, Rod the Rat the Lane, ladies and gentlemen, your feature winner in the Pure Stock Division. We're going to be back with the Northern Lightning Sprints.